Hello guys, good morning, good to have you back in school. Um, today is Thursday and we have math. So we're going to continue with the topic we introduced on Tuesday, which is capacity. And I told you on Tuesday that capaci capacity is uh, just all about comparing the amount of liquids in a container to know which one is more, which one can hold more or which one can hold less okay it's just about knowing which container can uh, hold more water or more liquid than the other one so today we're going to be continuing with the exercise in the book on page 64 so i would like you to turn your workbook to page 64 and you write the date today is thursday january 21 2021 page 64 in your workbook and today's date is Thursday, January 21, 2021. If you're there, uh, let's continue with the exercises in the book. And uh, in the book, it says, See how many cups or pails are needed to hold the water in each container. Write the numbers then complete the sentences. So we have a clue here. We are going to be using this jar of water in the cups and this jug of water in the cups to answer the question below. The same thing goes to this and this. We'll be using this information to answer the questions below. All right? So first of all, let's count the number of cups that we have on the side of the purple jar. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven cups on the side of the purple jar. So you can just take your pencil and write a number seven uh, somewhere here so that you don't just get confused. You can just write seven here. And then you count on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So you have also seven on that side. Oh, sorry, not seven. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for the purple jar, you have seven cups, and for the orange jug, you have nine little cups. Okay, so we're gonna be using this information to complete the questions uh, below the picture. So let's do A together, and you're going to continue with the B part, and you're going to use the same method we used for number 10 to complete number 11. All right, A says, the purple jar fills, and then you have a dash cups, and the orange jug fills dash cups. So just like we've counted earlier on, the purple jar fills seven little yeah, small cups, while the orange jar fills nine small cups. So in the spaces here, on this space over here, you write seven, and on this part over here, you write nine. So we're going to be using the information here also to complete this other question. And then the same way we did this, you're going to use the same method to do this one and answer the questions below. All right, when you're done with that, you go to the next page, which is page 65 of your book. And we continue with the work on the side. It says, choose the most appropriate thing to measure the capacity of the container on the left check the letters so here you have a pot all right and here you have a, a feeding bottle all right here you have a jar and here you have kind of a dust uh, bean or yeah so we're going to be looking at these three objects a b and c and we are going to be estimating which object would be most appropriate for us to measure the contents in the spot understood so let's take a good look at the three objects again and we think because remember the other time we talked about measuring using non-standard units so that's what we're going to uh, apply in this exercise. We're just going to look at the object and kind of think of which object, uh, which other object is going to be most appropriate for you to measure uh, the capacity of the container in the left side of your book. So I'm going to do number one, uh, number 12 for you. 
and then you're going to continue with number 13 14 and 15 understood so i'm gonna say the most appropriate container for us to measure the capacity of this pot is this bottle here so b so you're going to take your pencil and put a check mark here on b all right so that's it for number 12. so continue with number 13 14 uh, 15 and 16 and when you're done you take a picture of your work and either send it to me on whatsapp or you can upload it on your portfolio uh in class dojo all right guys see you soon bye